Each year, 70 million Americans receive opioids following surgery, with 1 in 10 patients admitting they've become addicted. Professional athlete Gabrielle Reese made a personal decision not to take opioids to manage her pain following her knee replacement surgery. And she joins us today along with orthopedic surgeon Dr. Scott Sigmund. Welcome Gabby and Dr. Sigmund. Hi, thank Hello. you for having us. So Gabby, go ahead, share a little bit of your story with us. Well, from years of jumping around and, and playing volleyball, I, I, I dealt with a knee uh, issue, chronic knee pain for about 15 years and then finally a little over three months ago, I ended up getting a full knee replacement myself. Um, and prior to getting the surgery, I had committed to not taking opioids just because I had heard stories, so many stories of athletes I knew or other people that um, unintentionally uh, ended up going in for a surgery and then getting addicted to the opioids. Um, having said that, when I was in the hospital, I was giving, given a prescription uh, strength anti-inflammatory with a painkiller, and then once I got out, I just, um, you know, dealt with the discomfort. But usually it's the first three or four days that are the toughest anyway. Um, and so when I found out about Choices Matter and that there was a, a campaign out there to empower the patient, uh, you can go to planagainstpain.com and see that now there are so many options other than opioids for post-surgical pain where people can be comfortable um, and not have to take opioids. So I was excited to, to be involved with with this campaign and, and talk about that. And Dr. Sigmund, why do you think opioid use has become so widespread and so problematic? Uh, unfortunately, elective surgery has become this sort of inadvertent gateway to substance abuse. And the most recent survey is suggesting that one out of 10 patients that are undergoing elective surgery winding, uh, wind up becoming either addicted or dependent upon opioids. So we're really looking for uh, excellent alternatives outside of opioids to be able to help patients. Now look, Gabby's a professional athlete. She was able to power through her rehab and be able to go without opioids. But for the average patient, there's great options. So I do knee replacements and we actually give patients these new uh, oral forms of anti-inflammatories. There's IV forms of anti-inflammatories. And now there's local anesthetics that can be injected directly into the surgical site, almost like if you go to the dentist, for example and you can get significant pain relief for upwards of 24 to 72 hours. Many of my patients are having surgery in the morning and literally walking in the hallway reporting that they are having minimal pain. There are great options that are available. Doctors are being educated in this process. And, and again, as Gabby said, we want to educate our patients, let them know that there are options that are available. Planagainstpain.com is a great website. Go on it, take a quick survey, get your questions, print it out, bring it to the doctor and say, hey doc, I don't want to be the one in 10. What other options are there so I don't have to be exposed to these opioids? All right, so give us that website one more time. Planagainstpain.com. Former Olympian and volleyball great Gabby Reese and Dr. Scott Sigmund, thank you for taking some time to join us here on Coffee with America. Thank you. Appreciate it. And thank you both.